Hello everybody and welcome to my second PHP tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to create your first PHP website. Uh, it's only going to be a simple hello world program and it's just really to the test out that you've got your installation correct. So open up notepad and uh, open up a new a document by clicking on the new thing here and then we just want to save this down so uh, first of all go into your language and set it as a PHP language so language at the top go to P and then PHP and then file save as and then you notice down here in the save as type it's a PHP hypertext processor file and so you need to make sure that this is the one selected and then not any of these other kind of javascript ones or anything or just normal text and then you would need to save it in a very specific place so you need to find wherever you did your installation and so i did mine in my documents so and then in xamp and then we're looking for htdocs so here and then we're going to create ourselves a new folder in htdocs so let's call it website uh, so it's just got to be in htdocs it doesn't matter where how many subfolders you have just make sure it's in htdocs you'll probably be able to see more in your htdocs because i've deleted quite a lot of things but just create yourself a new folder open that folder up and then save it down as index and then press save so now we have an index.php file. So this is where we will write all our PHP code. So to, to signify to the server when it's retrieving a PHP document that you're starting to write in PHP, you need to use the PHP tag. So to do this, you open it up the same way you would with a HTML tag, but then you instantly put a question mark and then type PHP uh, and then enter down and then you close it off with a question mark and then you close it off again with the uh, greater than sign and then this anything in here is going to be uh, PHP code so similar to how you have the start scripts and end script tags in HTML uh, it, it just gives you this space to write PHP code in so we're going to just write an echo in and the, all the echo means is write out to my document that is being sent across to the user uh, and then we pass it what we want it to write so hello world make sure it's in speech marks and that it's turned gray and and so essentially rather than this code send in php echo hello world and then that it all it's going to send across in our website is just this single hello world bit from the echo at the end of the echo after the speech mark just put a semicolon and that signifies the end of this command so we can then go on to the next line and start a new command over again so that's this document done let's press save and then we want to open this up so we need to go to our web browser I'm going to go into Chrome and we need we want to go to localhost so localhost uh, and this will uh, this will appear if you have your Apache and your MySQL running if they're not running then it won't come up with anything I'll show you that now if we stop them and refresh and then it's not going to be able to find it. So make sure you've got both of them running. Uh, and then you've got an index of what's in that htdocs folder. So we can now click on our website. Uh, and it's now going to the directory localhost slash website. And then similarly to how when you ha go to a directory in HTML, it loads up the index.php file uh, as the standard file it will go to in that directory. And then it, you'll notice that it hasn't got the question mark PHP. It's only got the hello world. If we put in another echo command in our, in our folder, in our uh, document even, sorry, 
um, say second command and then save and then when we refresh this now then it's going to come up as second command and it's literally just writing it out as a, a HTML document so if you went to your page source uh, which is control U uh, and then you'll notice that the actual HTML of the page is is only the writing it doesn't have the PHP in it so that's it for the second tutorial if this isn't working then your setups are wrong in some way uh, and if you can't work out how then feel free to either pop onto our forum and uh, put what issues you're having on there chances are that someone else already have had that issue uh, or just drop some uh, drop your question in the comments and I will endeavor to make sure that you can all get using it so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial